Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I wanted to get on here real quick and share another video about narcissism with you guys. And this is a question that is often asked um, in regards to the narcissist who um, is successful, is, you know, like very popular, has a lot of money, has riches, I mean, on end, you know, whatever they want. In the flick of a finger, he or she has whatever they want because money has never really been an obstacle to them. What happens when the narcissist goes broke and has no money? That could take a real big toll on a narc's ego because they thrive on being and acting like they are better than others just because they have these riches, but when they no longer have it, it takes a huge toll on their ego. I mean, it's like they will enter into this rage and delusional world where it will trigger them even more to act out because of this. Now, another thing that if you see out there, you do your research, they talk a lot when it comes to narcissism and when the narcissist gets old, they usually end up old and alone. You know, no family, no friends. Uh, people usually turn their back on them because over the years people start to realize and see the red flags that these narcs are very toxic people and so people just just turn around and look the other way and have nothing to do with the narc ever again and when people cut the narcs supply like that they usually end up old and alone and miserable and really have no no body to turn to because you know everybody has pretty much figured them out and nobody wants to wants anything to have to do with the narc because they are a toxic person but yeah the worst thing that could happen to a narc who at some point um you know was rich was very you know wealthy popular financially stable and then they lose it all that can really take a toll on their ego so yeah that is um one of their worst fears is to um be not only be publicly shamed but also to fail in something and for others to see you know that takes a huge huge toll on them so they'll really really go psychotic um when this happens because their worst fear is to be publicly shamed in some way shape or form and since their egos are just so huge their egos cannot handle it but yeah the um in the long run because people always ask this you know narcissists go about their life you know hurting others and this and that and they're very toxic people but they do seem to get away with a lot eventually life and all their shady shit does catch up to them and like i said they're their end at the end if you look at the uh, any old narcissist they end up old and alone and people usually turn their backs on them and they they die old and alone and miserable because nobody wants anything to do with a miserable toxic narc like that so yeah i hope that answers your question because i know a lot of people are like oh it's not fair these narcs go around hurting others but trust me karma is real and at the end they do they get what they deserve you know they do and you're like you're probably like oh my god do i have to wait for them to be that old trust me karma comes to them um most of them like i said once again they end up old and alone and broke most of them end up broke and miserable and what once um had them feeling like high and this this big this tall uh feeling like they're better than others and whatnot eventually all that comes tumbling down and they end up with nothing and that that seriously takes a huge toll on their ego and it's it's pretty funny to watch it's pretty comical to watch the end of a narc old alone miserable with no friends and family or anybody who truly loves them and supports them because people can truly see how how toxic they are and eventually nobody nobody associates with these kinds of people so
anyway, I hope that answers your question and I will see you all in my next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.